Yeah, I mean, in, in Russia in particular, remember, we're talking about an enormous country. We're talking about a very, very large nuclear infrastructure, which runs the gamut from, you know, uh, peaceful nuclear power, uh, scientific research, you know, medical isotope production, reprocessing of nuclear uh, enriched material, uh, of, of military nuclear enriched material, and then, of course, a weapons complex. You know, that's a big difference from the vast majority of nuclear power states, as it we're dealing with a pretty significant weapons complex and one that uh, has been ramped up and will be ramped up uh, in Putin's new term. That's part of the strategy is to develop a new generation of Russian nuclear deterrent weapons. Um, so this is an extremely big complex and it's extremely complex complex. Um, as far as knowing about the security, I think transparency is the big issue. I think we ironically had more certainty uh, perhaps, uh, or, or I'd put it this way, we had more information uh, in the 1990s and less certainty or less confidence. Um, today, I think it's fair to say that we have a fair degree of confidence. I don't think American officials panic uh, the way they once did about, you know, Soviet suitcase nukes um, to the extent that those even exist, and that's still an open debate, uh, you know, falling into the wrong hands. Putin has given us assurances that on his watch, that means since 1999, uh, not a single, you know, ounce of nuclear material has gone missing. Um, and Putin tends to be a man of his word, and the type of system that he's imposed, I think, could credibly do that. The reason we have less information is that it's a less transparent system. A lot of the programs, Nun Luger is kind of the catch-all term that we've been running since the 1990s, are winding down. Their mandates are ending. The Russians are saying, you know what, it's time to go. We're no longer an aid recipient country. We're not a developing country that needs your help to do this. We'll do it on our own. Um, and quite frankly, we also don't have the resources to do it anymore. So I think the transparency has gone down, but at the same time, you know, the confidence hasn't plummeted.